Welcome to this Windows 10 and Computer channel and this is a questions and answer for all of those that are on Windows 7 that have sent me questions in the past couple of weeks. Uh, you know, we are approaching and we will once again talk about the uh, approaching doom of Windows 7. So, of course, Windows 7 is getting its last security update in about, a you know, two months and a half from now. January 14th, 2020 is when Windows 7 is going to be um, retired, if you want. So, of course, a lot of you have been asking some of the questions, uh, basic questions that I will answer here in um, very simple and down-to-earth way of understanding. Question number one that I get is, uh, do I really need to go on to Windows 10? And uh, of course, that all has to do with what you do. And, um, you know, just think about the fact that as Windows 7 will not have any security updates after January 14th, slowly, you'll be more and more vulnerable to attacks from the web. So that's one thing to think about. It all depends what you do with your machine. Of course, a Windows 7 computer that's not on the web, it doesn't matter. You can still continue using it. It is not vulnerable if you're not on the internet. Now, if you're on the internet, yes, there are some companies that will continue doing and updating uh, their antivirus. Um, web browsers will be updated to a certain point, so that means uh, Google Chrome will probably continue supporting Windows 7 for a certain time. And that means that you'll have some security coming out of that as long as you keep your Chrome browser updated. That means that there's a way to mitigate the uh, problems, but, um, you know, it's not the best of ideas. But, yeah, you can continue using Windows 7. It's not going to stop working. The question number two, uh, oh, I heard there's some paid extended, um, you know, support. Well, first of all, that's for enterprise. And if you are a regular Windows 7 user with a home or, or you know, a uh, uh, basic version of Windows 7, you're not getting that. And that is not available to consumers and it's extremely expensive. So um, there's, you know, no real, um, no real reason to pay or to, to do that, honestly. Uh, you'd just be wasting money. And if you're going to pay for that, you better go to Windows 10. Um, one interesting question that I have never answered, um, I think, in any videos. Um, some of you say, well, if I go to Windows 10 from Windows 7 and there's some problems, um, are there ways I can go back? Well, if you use the upgrade path, so if you go to the Windows 10 website and you upgrade from there, you will have 30 days where you can roll back to Windows 7. So that means you go to Windows 10, it doesn't work, or all, you know, all hell breaks loose, or your favorite hardware, software doesn't work. You can, in 30 days, click that little roll back button, and you'll be sent back to Windows 7. But for that, you have to upgrade from within Windows 7. If you upgrade, uh, if you do a clean install, that doesn't work. There's no way to go back. If you use a license key, that is important to understand that you have, once again, 30 days to go back to Windows 7 because that license key after 30 days will be converted forever into a Windows 10 license key. That means that when you upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7, the Windows 7 license key will change properties. It will eventually become a Windows 10 license key. That means that the uh, if you try to reinstall Windows 7 with that key, it's going to say, well, it's a not a valid key. Why? Because it has been changed into a Windows 10 key. Once again, remember that if you have a valid Windows 7 key, there's a good chance you can upgrade for free to Windows 10. So you got to try it. You just enter the product key. That's nice because there's nothing modified at that point. Until the product key is asked when you upgrade, nothing is modified. So if it doesn't work, you just stop the install from there and you're back into your Windows 7 install and that's it. So you have nothing to lose to try your license key from Windows 7 to upgrade to Windows 10 for free. If it says, fine, the key is perfect, that means you're getting a free ride to Windows 10. Okay? Don't forget about that. 
As for the compatibility, I get a lot of questions about that. I'll put it into two categories. If your computer came with Windows 7 when you purchased it, chances are pretty good you'll upgrade to Windows 10 without any problems for the most part. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule and you know, if you have 10 Windows 7 computers, maybe one out of 10 might not upgrade well to Windows 10 or at all because of some hardware. But for the most part, the upgrade goes. Where it's a little delicate, because some of you have done that, if you have and had a Windows XP computer that you upgraded to Windows 7, that's where Windows 10 might not work for the most part, because that means you got a really old computer. And that really old hardware will probably not be compatible with Windows 10. So if your PC had Windows XP, you pushed it to Windows 7, Windows 10 upgrade might not be a good idea. Maybe it's time to think about a new PC or any alternative that you might think is useful for you. So this is pretty much what we have to do. And for people that are saying, well, Microsoft at the last minute is going to extend Windows 7 because there's way too many people using it. No, don't think about it. It's not going to happen. Okay. Windows 7 expires um, and has no more. Uh, it doesn't expire. It has no more security updates starting January 14th, 2020. And that is going to stay like that. There's not going to be any changes. Uh, if there would have been changes, it would have already happened. So that's pretty much the questions and answers that I wanted to, uh, of course, give out. And if you have any question about the Windows 7 uh, termination of updates on January, you can ask in the description below the video. And uh, if I uh, have some interesting questions to answer, I'll do another questions and answer for this. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.